Welcome to Chronicles and Legends, where we breathe life into the tales of yore. Today's odyssey takes us across the tempestuous waters of the late 17th to the early 18th centuries, known as the Golden Age of Piracy. It was a time when the Caribbean Sea and the Atlantic Ocean were ruled not by empires, but by the cunning and bravery of pirates. Join us on a journey to explore the lives of the most notorious pirates, their extraordinary exploits, and the era that allowed their legends to flourish. As European nations battled over newfound lands and riches, the seas became highways for immense wealth. This period, following the end of widespread privateering, saw many out-of-work sailors turn to piracy, drawn by the allure of fortune and autonomy. The Caribbean, a nexus of trade routes laden with Spanish galleons filled with New World gold, became a pirate's paradise. It was here, among these treasure-laden waters, that piracy found its golden age, a time when the rule of law was often just a distant whisper against the roaring waves. In this lawless era, fearsome figures emerged from the mist. Edward Teach, or Blackbeard, became an emblem of terror, with tales of his thick black beard and fearsome visage lit by fuses in battle to intimidate foes. Anne Bonny and Calico Jack Rackham, a formidable duo, defied societal expectations, with Bonny fighting fiercely alongside her male counterparts. Meanwhile, Bartholomew Roberts, or Black Bart, commandeered over 400 vessels, his disciplined crew and swift ships a testament to his prowess on the high seas. Each of these pirates not only challenged the empires of their time, but also forged a legacy that would inspire generations to come, embodying the spirit of rebellion and freedom that defined the age. Beneath the Jolly Roger, pirate society was uniquely democratic. Crews often voted on decisions, shared plunder equitably, and elected their captains, creating a sense of brotherhood and fairness unseen in much of the world. Yet, this life was not without its perils. Dangers lurked in every corner, from the ever-present threat of violent death and capture to the hardships of sea life, including disease, storms and mutiny. Pirates navigated these trials with a blend of camaraderie, brutality and the unwritten pirate code, which governed their conduct with an iron, albeit egalitarian, hand. The golden age of piracy sunset was gradual yet inevitable. The concerted efforts of European naval powers, particularly the British Royal Navy, began to clamp down on pirate havens, cutting off their lifelines. The infamous Blackbeard's demise at the hands of Lieutenant Robert Maynard in a bloody confrontation became a turning point, signalling to pirates everywhere that their era was ending. Governments offered pardons to those who would hang up their cutlasses, slowly quelling the pirate threat and restoring order to the seas. Though the age of piracy faded into the mists of time, its legends did not. Pirates like Blackbeard, Anne Bonny and Calico Jack continue to captivate our imagination, embodying the ultimate rebellion against authority and the quest for freedom and adventure. The golden age of piracy has left an indelible mark on popular culture, from literature and films to video games, reminding us of the allure of the untamed sea and the men and women who dared to roam it freely. As we dock at the end of our voyage through the golden age of piracy, we're reminded of the complex tapestry of history. Pirates, often vilified, also represent a form of resistance, a challenge to the status quo, and a fascinating chapter of maritime history. Thank you for sailing with chronicles and legends through this epic saga. For more journeys through the annals of history, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell. Until next time, may your curiosity always guide you to new horizons.